Ecuador can boast to have the, some of the highest numbers of the volcanoes in the Americas, especially in the South America. It has several volcanoes, including this uh, Sangai, which is more than five kilometer high, 5,200 meters. That means this ash and lava that you see here have already had to rise five and a half kilometer almost into the sky from the ground surface until reaching the air. That is the distance this has to travel. It must have a lot of explosive power behind this, a lot of gas pressure, volatiles like water when they expand and other gases when they expand, they cause these eruptions as you can see here. Last night we had a, a pyroclastic flow which created a, a long flow of, uh, of pyroclastic ash and lava and lava bombs and uh, volcanic bombs, as you call it also, and lapilli and other things that we uh, all exposed at the surface, flowing down from the cone of the volcano. Very similar to what we saw in the Indonesia. It's very amazing that the setting of them is very similar, even the shape of the canyons from the summit. And the uh, uh, hazards are the same. They cause the diversion and the... Uh, problem for the aviation. So we study all the maps that show the uh, height of this ash. They can disrupt and damage the engines of the and the turbines of the airplanes. Sangha, as you know, is part of the uh, Ecuador's ring of fire, which is a, a belt of volcanoes all across the Pacific Ocean and parts of the Indian Ocean.